Hey, Mike here from learndevops.com.au and today I just want to have a quick talk about HashiCorp console. So what the hell is console? Console is a tool, it's a service discovery tool. We're going to talk about three important aspects of it, but it's sort of bigger than the scope that I'm going to explain to you. So do a search for HashiCorp console, Google it, have a look at the website because it does talk more in more detail about what I can actually tell you in a, in a short video. But the three primary features of it that are of interest is service discovery. It's using mutual TLS with sidecars, and we're looking at dynamic load balancing. So service discovery, what's that? A picture that you've got a AWS VPC, and you've got a network and inside of that network what we're what we're looking at is lots and lots of servers that are running lots of docker containers and you could have 10 applications spread across various servers now the problem you have there is because with docker containers what you generally want to do you want to orchestrate them so that they can basically just come up anywhere on the cluster and you don't care where you don't care where as an operator you certainly don't care where as a user and you still want to be able to route traffic to them. But the problem is, is where are they on the cluster and what port are they listening on? Because of course, when Docker spins up a container and you say, I need to talk to port 8080 inside of that container, the port that you get on the host could be completely random, it could be 253780. And then that could be 378041 the next, the next minute when you deploy it again. So that port is constantly changing all the time. And also the location within the cluster is also changing as well. So service discovery, like console, what console offers is all those services pop up. And what they can either do is if you use it with something like Nomad, which we'll cover in another video, it can spin the service up for you, orchestrate the container, and then it can talk to console and say, this particular application is available on these nodes at these IP addresses on these ports. Now that's really, really, really powerful because what you can then do is you can plug a load balancer or an edge router like traffic, another weird spelling, T-R-A-E-F-I-K, traffic, I believe that's how it's pronounced anyway, that will read the console service catalog and it will collect all this information about all of these services from the catalog. So the service is registered to the service discovery catalog. The load balancer reads the catalog. It knows where everything can. And then when traffic comes in, into your network, it knows exactly where to send it on what node, at what IP address, and at what port. So that means that you in the background can just leave that running, and then you can just keep spinning up new versions of containers, brand new applications, et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth. And because they're registering themselves with that catalog, and then the load bouncers reading the catalog, it can just keep it can just keep importing that information as it changes and routing the traffic inside of your network accordingly. So the service discovery is an extremely powerful concept and HashiCorp's console is definitely the best tool for the job there. The other thing I talked about was MTLS, so that's mutual transport layer security. Transport layer security, very simply, is two hosts want to talk securely, so they establish a TLS connection and then any communications is completely secure. But mutual TLS is saying, okay, you can establish a secure communication with me, so you're talking to me securely, but that's great, but who are you? I don't know who you are. So mutual TLS is about taking it a step further and the client that's instantiating the connection also has to provide a certificate to prove their identity as well. And this is the concept of zero trust networking. So this is something that console can help with. So it can help you do this in what's called a side car fashion. So let's go back to our little containers here that are popping up and then they need to talk inside the network. So say those little apps that you've got spinning up with Nomad spins it up, say it needs to talk to something else inside the network. It doesn't have to go out to the public, it just has to talk to something else. What you can do is you can use something called Envoy, which is another, another router, which can, the application will talk to Envoy and then Envoy will do full TLS communication inside the network for you. And it can also do that certificate identity to prove its identity. This is something else that console enables as well. And it's really, really, really good at it. And then again, the dynamic load balancing that comes us back to that sort of traffic, that TRA, T-R-A-E-F-I-K, such a strange, such a strange spelling, but the dynamic load balancing with traffic is reading that service catalog. And then when you combine all of these things, you get this zero trust fully TLS encrypted, fully dynamic environment where you just hit a router and you're just sent to a cluster, part of the cluster, particular node, you hit the right IP, you hit the right port. 
Simple as that. It's awesome. Check it out. Before you do that, though, head on over to learndevops.com.au. And if you just scroll down a little bit, there's a button you can click. And it'll take you to our Discord server where you can have a little bit of a chat about this. And you can ask any more questions. So go ahead, go and check out console, C-O-N-S-U-L. Give that a Google, give that a read. I think you're going to love it. Have fun. Very nice.